What is up everybody? My name is Grizz Goat. Welcome back to my channel. We are back at the Bug Bungalow, ready to fix it all up and make it look nice. Um, I lost a little bit of footage, but today we are focused on the main centerpiece that will be going in this top area. So there I was just measuring it out and we are going to be making a giant Amazonian centipede or Amazonian giant centipede, I believe is the correct order. Um, so here I am just trying to figure out how we're going to make it work. I've had this idea in my head for a while, but I hadn't actually looked at any of the parts for it. Um, so luckily they have these nice like wooden, uh, wooden pots, I guess they are. Um, and they match the color of the centipede really well. And also the shape. Um, so it's kind of a win-win. Uh, I don't believe they're recolorable, so I kind of lucked out in that way. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna kind of make it, give it that like organic moving around, kind of twisting centipede look to it. And I kind of got the idea for this from like uh, aquariums when you see like a giant whale hanging from the ceiling. Uh, I thought it'd be interesting to put like a giant bug. Um, and you'll see later in the video we're gonna make it look, make it kind of look like a Honey I Shrunk the Kids type of situation going on on the inside. So guests will walk in and they they will feel uh, like they've been miniaturized and uh, walking around underground. Um, and I think the end result is really cool. Also this weekend, we just hit, got over, we hit and got over 40 subscribers. Never in my life would I ever think in two and a half weeks, we would get 40 subscribers. Um, Thank you all for subscribing. It's amazing. Uh, especially since I'm not the best at making these videos and I'm sure I ramble a lot. And yeah, I never would have thought one person would want to subscribe, let alone 40. So thank you all for that. If you are interested in playing Planet Zoo, the link in the description of this video will show you a website to get games for pretty cheap. So check it out. And now the head was really difficult for me to try to figure out. Um, they had this pot, which was the same color, uh, but it, the centipede really doesn't have like that kind of mouth on it. Um, so trying to figure out what to use instead was really difficult. Um, especially since a lot of these pieces I've never used before, so I don't know how big um, they are. <coughs> So trying to figure out what kind of piece will work uh, can get a little difficult, but um, yeah, whenever you're scrolling through pieces, just take a mental note of how big it is and, uh, you know, maybe you'll be able to imagine it in some way in the future to kind of like use it in another project. So here, here's the big like antenna things that it has. Uh, it ha kind of has like a ombre effect from like white to the orange color on them. So I, I think I did a pretty good job of finding that gradient um, for the antennas and I, I think it looks really cool. Now we're just finding the right leg shape. Um, the scale that this is at, there really weren't that many options to choose from. Um, because if they get too long, then you can't really uh, move them around and kind of like bend them with two different shapes you'll see right here. Um, it's just too long and so that's probably the right length, but they have that weird joint. Uh, but then I realized they have the whole 
a letter system in this. Uh, and the parenthesis, 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 the parenthesis was a perfect shape. Um, I'm glad I found it. It saved a lot of time from uh, trying to find something else. Um, but yeah, just altering it because, you know, like you've ever seen a centipede walk, they just kind of have like all their legs moving at once. Um, so just trying to make break up the symmetry, uh, break up any repeating shapes. has these little, um, I, it, the face of it is kind of like a roundish shape, so I thought maybe I could kind of replicate that with the letters. I think it turned out okay in the end. Ultimately, it, it is blowing up a centipede to like a million times its size, so there w might be a little more textural detail on the head. Um, and then I color match it to the pot, uh, pot color at the end. <laughs> and now I didn't like the little uh, pincher things that it had uh, that I made out of one of the classical pieces. Um, so I decided to use the same uh, parentheses to kind of mock the little pincher thingies. Now we're just going to repeat the legs on the other side. I don't know if the amount of segments is right for this. Uh, I think I'm short a little bit, but we're kind of limited by size, so, you know. And also, I, I hope nobody is actually up there counting uh, how many segments, because that's just crazy. Uh, so now we're adding the little pincher things to the back. Uh, I, I think I end up using just the same parentheses um, just because it works so well and it kind of keeps that similar shape because uh, when you look at like a real uh, centipede they all of their shapes kind of look the same uh, their antennas are pretty thin compared to their legs but like their pinchers and their legs are all about the same size and shape uh, so I think it works pretty well now we're just gonna move it right on into our exhibit mounted to the ceiling get it all centered and yeah so that's basically how I built that uh, I think it looks really cool from the outside um, it's kind of something I feel like you wouldn't really see in a real uh, zoo. Maybe you would. Um, I'm sure this has been done before in, in real life. I can't think of any examples, but uh, yeah, I like that it just is like, it kind of plays on the trope of having a, a whale from your ceiling, but it's a giant bug. Um, yeah, I think it looks, I think it's fun. Now we're just going to add in some of the floors and kind of make clean up clean up the ground a little bit more uh, make it look like the reptilian pavilion I believe I use the same limestone floors and of course you always have to get a little tricky when dealing with the kind of like spill out from your building um, I'll probably go back and 
some final touches. Um, even after the preview I give you guys at the end, um, I'll probably go through and make sure that everything looks okay. Put some trees around, some rocks, hide everything. we had this piece of ground that I could not get rid of um, so I'm just gonna make like a little display um, to kind of hopefully hide that a little bit more I am in post production I'm just realizing that I did not change that wall color uh, the 45 degree angle one so I will have to go back and change that now we're just gonna add some lights look at it from outside looks nice still working on this even after I've you know, finished for this video. I think I might still visit this corner uh, and try to clean it up or put something more interesting there. Um, it's kind of hard because you have I have to work with the way that the path is. Um, and so yeah, I'm trying to I can only put the trash cans and the benches right there. Uh, so we'll see. We'll I'll, I'll revisit this and make sure um, we get it looking better. Now we're going to add in our bugs. I'm just kind of adding a random assortment. Um, I don't have enough exhibits for all of them. But uh, I got the good ones in there. Um, and of course, we have to include the Amazonian giant centipede because that's the main focus. <laughs> so, of course, we have to add that one in. And I like that the lights are kind of on the outer, outer side. Um, outer side, outside, um, kind of towards the edges because it kind of makes it a little darker, kind of like you're a little bug in the exhibit. Um, and you'll see, I lost the footage for this because my internet went out, but right now I'm going to show you the final bug bungalow. Um, yeah, when my internet went out, uh, I turned off the recording and then forgot to turn it back out, back on when I could load the game back in. So I didn't record a lot of it. Um, it was all kind of boring stuff, but it turned out incredible. I really like what is going on in the bug bungalow right now. Um, so I added this kind of rocky uh, like roof to the exhibits to kind of make it seem like it's all underground and like you're a little bug coming in. Um, I think it, it matches all of the exhibits really well. Um, <clears throat> little peak hole that you can look up and see the centipede uh, sculpture kind of makes you feel like it's this, like you're smaller than the centipede, like you're like a little ant. Uh, I think it looks really cool. Um, then the butterfly exhibit, we're still, we. I need to look up how they work. I think I, I think you can just add any trees you want, uh, and it doesn't affect anything. But I'll have to look that up. Uh, but we have several different types of butterflies in here. <clears throat> and now we'll go up and look at our giant centipede. I use this tall elephant grass. I think it looks really nice, and it makes it look kind of like it's uh, to scale of what you would see a centipede walking around in. It turned out great. I couldn't be happier with this build. Uh, and then 
to get the guests up, I put a viewpoint and some vending machines up top. And yeah, the viewpoint is nice. You can see all, all that we've done so far and more to come. Thank you. Like and subscribe. I love you. Goodbye.